assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to supply chain talks today we are going to talk about the inco terms x works this tutorial will be basically made up of three parts in the first part we are going to look at the basics of inco terms in the second part we will look into the seller's obligations and in the third we will look at the buyer's obligation so hopefully i will try to provide you a complete understanding of the inco terms x works so let's start with the basics of inco terms the first topic that we are going to discuss today is about delivery and risk x works basically means that the seller delivers the goods to the buyer when the seller places the goods at the disposal of the buyer at a named place like a factory or warehouse the name place needs to be mentioned clearly in the inco terms now the name place may or may not be the seller premises it can be any other defined place but this needs to be again as i mentioned earlier this needs to be very clearly defined in the inco terms in the case of xworks as i tried to emphasize earlier as well for the delivery to occur the seller does not need to load the material or product on to the collecting vehicle or the transport all it needs to do is place the product at the defined place as per the inco terms so when we talk about this so this basically means that once the product is placed the the delivery is done and the risk is also transferred from the seller to the buyer and at this point the seller can basically also generate the invoice on to the buyer now moving on to the second point the mode of transport in which mode of transport basically the inco term x work is applicable so basically x works is applicable to all four types of transport which is air rail road and sea before we move on to the third point of this tutorial uh, i would like to make one thing very clear for everyone inco term of x works puts the least amount of obligation on to the seller and almost all the obligations that includes all the cost and risk the export requirements the import requirements if it is cross border uh, transaction on to the buyer so as an advice be very careful when you are using the x works and we will try to look into the next points which are basically uh, linked with the risk associated with the inco term of x works basically the risk of loading and export clearance first let's have a look at the risk of loading as mentioned earlier delivery happens and the risk are transferred when the goods are placed not loaded we need to understand that the goods are placed not loaded at the buyer's disposal so as soon as the goods are placed the delivery happens and the risk and the cost associated with that risk is also transferred on to the buyer one of the most issues or topics associated with this which i have come across is that what happens if there is a damage done when the loading is happening ideally as per the inco terms rules defined for x works as i mentioned earlier the loading of the material on to the transport or collection vehicle is not in the responsibility or ambit of the seller the responsibility is of the buyer but since usually the uh, equipment needed to load or uh, the permissions required to load or uh, these things are usually with the seller thus in most cases the loading is done by the seller onto the vehicle which has been arranged by the buyer but what if there is a damage which happens at the time of loading who is to bear the cost so we need to understand since the risk transferred 
as soon as the delivery was done when the material was placed at the defined point so logically the risk or the cost associated with any damage during loading is the responsibility of buyer even if the damage occurred by the seller so it is always advisable that this point is clearly discussed beforehand that any loading related damage would be whose responsibility if it is not defined then it is with the buyer the risk associated or the cost associated with such kind of damage now we will move to the next risk which is clearance risk <clears throat> as i mentioned earlier as well that all the costs and risks are with the buyer so all the formalities related to the export documentation and the import documentation are with the buyer in the case of xworks there is no obligation on the seller to organize export clearance or clearance within third countries through which the goods pass in transit it's clear all export documentation all uh, anything that is required the formalities required to ensure that the export clearance is done at the port or any cross country or cross border uh, transit is needed everything is the responsibility of the buyer yes the responsibility which is on the seller is to support in providing the documentation or the details which are required to prepare such documentation but clearance at the cross cross border or at the border of the uh, uh, origin country or in transit is not the responsibility of the seller but the responsibility of the buyer so basically this concludes our first tutorial on xworks which i tried to take you through the basics of xworks so that uh, the basic understanding is clear for all of you so i thank you all to listening in and uh, if you have any questions or queries please free, feel free to leave uh, them in the comment section below i request you to please subscribe to the channel like this video and share it forward as well uh, soon the next tutorial for xworks would be coming up as well about the seller obligation and the buyer's obligation i thank you all take care bye